Welcome back to uh, my video series for Flower Shop. It's a PEGA application that we're building end to end. This uh, next step that we're going to be working on is actually one that I haven't created yet. We're going to do that together and then we're going to use a data transform. So basically what I want to do is I want to display a final review screen for the user and uh, bring to that screen the user selection, anything that he or she selected with a checkbox or anything that he or she selected by entering a quantity, as you know, you can see from the previous video. So um, we're going to try and bring that information into a review screen where the user can confirm that that is, in fact, his selections or her selections. OK, so um, I'm going to add a step here. I'm going to call this uh, review selections. And I'm going to configure the view. Um, so I drew the drop down field group. Okay, so create a new view. And I'm going to call this selections view. Okay, so here I'm going to I'm going to name my properties in a way that I can try and remember that this is the selected property. So selected arrangement. And that's going to be just text and read only. Range, ooh, arrangement price. Obviously, you guys can write something shorter. That's not a problem. Um, let's turn this into read only. Now I'm bringing in the arrangement that they clicked on as a Boolean that they wanted, right? The, that they selected in that previous screen. I also wanna bring in any add-on that they put a number or quantity in. So I'm gonna click on this and call this selected add-on. Text and read only. I'm also, including add on quantity because they may have selected more than one, right? So this is integer and this is read only. And lastly, I'm bringing in the price of each add on. So Okay, so I want to save and run. And of course, this is not going to be ready. We haven't even created the data transform yet. So I just want to see that it's there, that um, it was created in the UI, basically. Okay, so we have order detail, receiver address. Right, we have this select arrangement. I want one of these. My delivery date. Submit. Okay, so we have it here. Selection, selected arrangement, arrangement price, selected add-on, add-on quantity and on price. We can take away these headings if we want, but for now, I just wanna focus on the data transform, which I know can be very confusing. So let me just close that out. I'm going to go to records, data transform, and I am going to create. Okay, 
So we are creating our new data transform. Now it's important that you know that this is really important, the apply to class, right? In order for me to be able to call anything within this um, orders application, then I have to apply this data transform to that class. So this has to be reset to orders. I'm gonna call my data transform show selections, create and open. Okay, so before I get started, what I like to do here is I always like to um, call the whole class. And I like to do that because I, oh, because I like to also call here UI work page. Okay, so keep in mind that we have step two that has a field group and step three that has a field group. We want the data in those field groups to be brought over to field group selections through the use of this data transform called show selections. So first things first, I'm gonna look for that page, right? For each and page. And I'm gonna look for, I usually go back over here. Oh, properties. So you can see right here. Oh, there's a misspell, but yes. Select arrangement, no. <laughs> Select arrangement. I'm also gonna use this as context. Why do I wanna use it as context? Because I wanna be able to use the properties there, right? Now, I don't wanna bring all the stuff, the whole table from select arrangement. I only want the table row that has a Boolean that is called select, right? That equals true. So, which is easy to see here. So this is a table. If I click on select, then I want this row of data, right? That's what I'm saying here. So for each in select arrangement, when my property is called select, I don't know if it'll load it, no. And here's a little bit of Java, where you're gonna set that to true. Okay, so for each row in the table, select arrangement, when the property select equals true, that's when I'm gonna update the PY work page, right? Because the PY work page is what the user is seeing at that moment, right? And remember, we called our field group in step six selections. And I'm gonna start with the selected arrangement. Okay, so if you notice, it says flowers here. Why? Because the select arrangement field group already references flowers. So I'm gonna click on arrangement. I'm gonna add a sibling below. Selections dot. And I also want uh, arrangement price. I'm gonna set that to the new property in selections called price. Okay, so I wanna save that. And let's see, I need to get a two here. I don't want, there we go. Sometimes when I click on it, it gives me 1.1 or something like that. And I just want you to be sure that when you're doing this, so you don't get any errors, it should not be a child or a sibling of this top row. It has to be its own. So now uh, we've set the properties from select arrangement. Select arrangement is step two. Now we want the properties from add-ons, which is step three. So for each and so how do I know that that's the name? Select uh, uh, add-ons for flowers. How do I know that that's the name? Well, it tells me right here. This is the name of my field group. And I know because when I click it, click on the little arrow down, I can see that those are the properties I created in that field group. So add-ons for flowers, I'm gonna use this as a context. Now my when condition is gonna change. 
right? We still have a table, just like in select arrangements, we have a table. Uh, but this one, I want to use the property quantity. And I can't say yes or no, like true or false, because it's not a Boolean. It's an integer. So we are going to come here and, and select uh, the property quantity. And so this is, again, the little bit of Java that you do have to use. I'm going to use the not equal sign. So not equal to zero or not equal to null. So I'm going to use, if that requirement is met, then I'm going to update work, PY work page dot selections dot, we're going to start with uh, selected add-on, just the name of it. Okay, so if you notice here, now I'm calling add-ons for flowers a data page, whereas up here, I call it data flowers, right? These are the these are the data pages that are being referenced in these field groups, which are the field groups we configured here, right? Okay, so just item because that's the description. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a sibling below, and one more because I want all the properties. So. I also want the add-on quantity. And I want the add-on price. Okay, so will it work? No, it won't work. It shouldn't work because we haven't told Pega what to do with it, right? All we did was create it. It's just in the list of properties. It, it doesn't, it's not being called. So in order for us to do that, we have to go into the process modeler. If you notice, these are the names of the steps, right? And then each step has a little connector that moves on to the next step, right? So that's what we want to modify. We've already created the data transform. Now we have to tell Pega, use it use this data transform that I just created. And now you see it down here. Submit, save. Oh, I closed the earlier case. Okay, let me, let me run a new one. Okay, let's go back. If I try to just save and run, it's gonna give me an error because I made an update to the modeler. So it's gonna say that my record is stale, right? We don't want that. So we gotta refresh, save and run. Okay, so if the data transform works, the only property that I should see over there would be whatever I select here. So I'm gonna select happy birthday. I'm gonna add a stuffed animal. Okay, so here we go. Selected arrangement, happy birthday for $29.99. Stuffed animal, one, the quantity one, and for the price, $14.99. Now, obviously this doesn't look very nice. It's not very presentable. Um, I wanna go ahead and modify that before the end of this video. So let's go to my UI. Here we go. Oh, that's the right arrangement, sorry. Let's do two columns. 
I like that. So now you have column A, column B, right? It's showing you there. Okay, so now you see two different columns, column A, column B, column A, column B, column A, column B. Um, I'm going to leave the selected arrangement and selected price here, but I'm moving add-ons to the next column. I can move it like that, or I can just click on this and bring it down. That works too. It's a personal pre preference, really. You can just click and drag. So let's go and run this with the new UI so we can see what it looks like. Happy birthday. I want chocolates. Let's put chocolates on there. Okay, so now we have happy birthday and we have selected arrange, uh, arrangement price. We've got chocolates and we've got um, add on price and quantity on the other side. One last thing that I'd like to do uh, let's go back to this. Okay, so text alignment here does work. I'm gonna move this one to right. Hmm. Not sure why it doesn't show me for the other properties. Okay, so I think it doesn't give, give me that option for, um, for words. Right, so it does give me the option for currency and for integers, so I'll just go ahead and change that. Right, and then over here. Align to the left. All right. Okay, so now we have that arranged all of this in the correct order. I'd like to remove these titles, but I think that's something that I can wait on later. Really what I'm trying to focus on is on the functionality and we know that the data transform works. So that's great. In the next video, I wanna go ahead and add um, a declare expression, right? So I want the, uh, the application to be able to tell the user, this is what you selected and this is how much you owe. So pay me. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching and um, talk to you later. Thanks, bye. explain what we just did in the data transform and I felt that the best way to do that is by providing a visual so here's where we start remember that in step two and step three we created two field groups those two field groups reference data pages so step two we created a field group called select arrangements and I misspelled it here because I did the same thing in Pega uh, this field group uh, references data page flowers in step two step three we have a field group called add-ons for flowers that references the data page add-ons for flowers. Confusing, I know I should have called it something different, but what's done is done. So now we move forward to step number six. This is where the user will review. So we have a field group called selections. Selections will use this data transform to call select arrangements, which references flowers, and we'll call add-ons for flowers, which references add-ons for flowers, the data page. Through the use of calling this data transform, we're able to set the properties in the field selection, the, the field group selections. So basically we're taking that data, bringing it over, but we can't do that if we don't call them, which is why we, um, did the step one and step two, right? The, the very first part of that step is to call that field group. Okay, thanks. <laughs>